Okay, we're here with my uh, CEO of Jason's Deli, Joe Tutoris, and um, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the culture that we've developed here at Jason's, and um, I thought it would be a great opportunity to just have Jer Joe s share some of his thoughts about um, about our company and, and what makes our, our culture so special. So uh, um, can you talk a little bit about our culture, Joe, and just tell us about, can you just describe it for us? Well... I believe, first of all, the culture of a company is its most important asset. Uh, above all technology and processes and systems, uh, the culture is the, f the foundation of any great company. And on the flip side of that, it's, uh, if it's not there, then a company won't perform and, and grow and achieve. Uh, so, our culture, I truly believe, uh, comes from our um, the family atmosphere that we that we have created in this company, and it's not a creation of mine. It's a it's a combination of a whole lot of really really wonderful people uh, that have come together, that have developed a vision, uh, that have created a buy-in by. 10,000 employees uh, and and it causes the leadership to constantly want to remove obstacles to the goals of our people. So in summary, um, I believe that our culture is one of a caring family. Great. Um, what, what, I mean, we've, we've, this, today is our 35th birthday. Correct. So as a company, we've been around 35 years today. I mean, what's going to sustain the culture between now and um, you know our, our next sorry, the 70th birthday? Vigilance. We have to be vigilant about this precious asset. Um, uh, we have to take the opportunity uh, every time we're out in in our stores and with our people to talk about uh, what we stand for as a company. Um, and we have built this culture on a concept called servant leadership. Uh, and we teach this to our people uh, throughout our system uh, on a continuing basis. Uh, servant leadership is comprised of, of eight virtues. Uh, it's patience, it's kindness, it's humility, it's commitment, it's trust, it's encouragement, it's forgiveness. It's gratefulness. And now those are, are beautiful thoughts. Um, they're hard to do uh, because soft skills, soft skills are tough stuff, uh, more so than the technical skills. And so we've got to constantly develop ourselves to, to get better at, at these virtues. And I believe if, uh, you, you know, we don't have a... We don't turn our people over. We're the lowest turnover in the industry um, in both uh, management and, and uh, line employees are one of the lowest. And, and I believe it's truly because we've created a, an emotionally safe workplace where people uh, have fun at work, uh, that they feel like they can, uh, they can be listened to if they have a problem either at work or, or a personal problem. Um, I guess the one the one virtue that would encapsulate uh, those eight virtues would be selflessness. Um, they say that generosity is one of the greatest secrets of all business, um, and I believe we're a, a selfless, generous company, and we need to continue to work very hard at that. And that's the message that that I hear. But as a CEO, on a consistent basis, what, what, how, do, how do you communicate to your, and, and, and spread that throughout the leadership team? I mean, how does, how does, how does you, this vision for the culture uh, get down into the company? And what do you do as a CEO to, to perpetuate that? Well, the first thing I can do as a CEO is live it, uh, walk the talk, uh, and, and make sure that my team, my immediate team, lives our 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 virtues. Um, uh, and from there, uh, to be out there with our people, 
to touch our people, uh, to praise our people. Um, uh, and, 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 you know, part of servant leadership is not just, you know, all hugs. It, it's also accountability. And that's where the dynamic tension of servant leadership comes in, is that we hug and we also hold ourselves accountable. Um, and that's probably the tough side of servant leadership. But uh, it's going to be imperative going forward that the people in our leadership positions of our company completely buy into our concept of servant leadership the district managers, the regional managers, the general managers, the, uh, the department heads. And it's up to the leadership of the company to make sure that happens. Uh, we have employee surveys where we measure ourselves as to how well we are truly living these virtues. Uh, and that's a wonderful tool. And over the last two years, we've seen our scores continue to rise. Uh, and we're going to continue to refine this tool. We've contracted with the University of Illinois to develop an even a better measure for how well we're, we're practicing servant leadership. So it's not just going to be going out there and, and being nice to people. It's going to be measuring ourselves uh, against the standard.